Day 16 in the Switching to Linux Challenge, and I have to say, this is the happiest I have ever been with Linux. So I'm gonna fill you guys in here. The last couple days since switching to Ubuntu have been fantastic. I've had almost no issues with Linux in general, and I've had a couple surprises which have been just fantastic. Uh, just overall really great surprises. Um, I just, uh, prior to making this video, about 30 minutes before this, tried uh, something, some, someone in the comments said that uh, a guy online got Vega 64 working in Ubuntu and DaVinci Resolve. And after some hunting, I found the package to convert the CentOS version of the DaVinci Resolve installer to Debian. I went ahead and installed that and then also used all open source drivers, the MESA drivers, and did a backport of OpenCL functionality out of the AMD GPU drivers. God, that's a mouthful now that I said it out loud, but ah, it works. I got OpenCL, it is working fantastic. It's fast, it's just awesome. And uh, wow, I love it. And other things, uh, you know, no issues uh, I can think of. Um, Overall, my standby states, everything is just working great. You know, knock on wood. <laughs> um, I keep switching back and forth between GIMP and Krita. Uh, I do like Krita better than GIMP, and that hasn't changed at all. Um, however, uh, GIMP has some functionality that I miss uh, as far as just it, I need. It's a little lacking in Krita. Krita is more of a you know, overall painting program where GIMP is more of a drop-in Photoshop replacement. So I'm still kind of going back and forth with that. The only negative thing I can say right now is Wine is not a good solution to run Windows programs. Uh, I only get crashes a lot of times from that, and uh, it's just really, really annoying. So I've done a lot of things to make things work in Wine, but when I hack around and I do that, uh, it just does not work very well. Wine in general just is not a great uh, solution. Uh, there's, I'm just going to come out and say it. If you're using Wine for compatibility with it, if unless it's a very simplistic program, I just find Wine not to work very well. Now, obviously, there's some caveats to that, such as gaming. Gaming has come leaps and bounds in just this past year. So uh, don't take that out of context. I'm mainly talking about Photoshop, Office, you know, more of the kind of supported apps. Um Wine just doesn't work for, for anything, even though they may load. You might be able to get some functionality out of them, but you know, overall, not, not a great solution. So overall, this was just a great update for me. It was a great day. It was just, I've been having a great time these last three or four days on Ubuntu. I highly recommend it. Um, it. It was just the perfect fit for me, and that was a lot of the distro hunting. So if you guys ever worry and you, know, you want to jump distro saying hey uh, i highly recommend that you know uh, i thought fedora would be my jam because i'm so used to centos and a lot of the server terminal stuff um you know in my day job you know for the past five ten years um i've built out centos servers and done like lamp stacks and pbx or free pbx with an asterisk you know uh, server. So I've done a lot of uh, VoIP and, and other things directly on the terminal, uh, but obviously uh, using CentOS server, I never left uh, the basic bash shell. So going and seeing the desktop experience is really kind of an eye opener for me because I never really thought of Linux as a Windows replacement. And that seems very odd to say out loud, uh, especially for how long I've used uh, a lot of, you know, Linux in my day to day. Uh, but I never really thought of as a Windows replacement or a full Windows replacement. Um, and a big shout out to Brian Lunduke because without his Linux Sucks series, I would have never really 
tried this. I would have never done a 30-day challenge to switch my Windows box to Linux. I would have just always been like, ah, forget it. And I have watched a lot of his videos and kind of, he was one of my first Linux YouTubers basically to watch. And a big shout out to him. I went ahead and went on his website and bought some of his merch. <laughs> so if you get a chance, head over to his channel. If you hadn't checked out the Linux Suck series, it is awesome. Uh, he's, he's a bit of an odd cat, but I love him. And what he does for the Linux community is just awesome. And uh, I hope to meet him one day, but you know, maybe at one of the Linux conferences, um, whenever it comes through Texas here, I'll go check him out. But anyways, this was just a general update for today. I am just loving life. I'm about to delve into DaVinci Resolve. Like I said, I just got it working, got it up, went ahead and opened up a project and did some drop-ins and some mess around, but nothing really too serious yet. But the fact I got DaVinci Resolve working on Ubuntu, I'm really, really excited about. And a lot of other things are just working great. So... That's my update for today, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below and I'll get back to you. And if you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, please hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrystitus.com.